Hey folks, BQ here. Welcome to the Impact Lounge YouTube channel. It's Bound for Glory weekend. Please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. As I said, it's BFG weekend and the big news that hit just a little while ago. It actually happened while we were recording our Impact review. And let me tell you, when it got to that part of the podcast, thank God it was close to the end because we had a pretty hard time focusing to finish the rest of the review because it was such devastating news. But Taya Valkyrie is a no-go for Bound for Glory in her match, her Red Wedding match, versus Rosemary. Now, most people that I talk to will tell you that this was the match they were most looking forward to. Yes, we got it on Impact not too long ago, but anybody knows watching that match, they both didn't go full steam. And obviously there was a gimmick attached to this match. The Red Wedding, which we are assuming it was a first blood, but we don't exactly know. But Taya Valkyrie is a no-go for that set of tapings and for Bound for Glory. Now, she said she's going to upload a video uh, speaking, you know, from her side of the story. Now, I do have a little bit of intel here on what happened, and I'll get to that in a second. But she is supposed to make a statement about this, and it's... um. It's pretty unfortunate. She makes it sound like it's a, you know, it's something personal, you know, something, something came up, something was bad timing. So we're going to see what she has to say about this. Now, my source, this is, and this is rumored because, you know, it, it's hard for me to ever believe 100% of anything, but it's rumored that, uh, via my source that it was a visa issue. I don't know much about visas, about work visas or traveling. Um, I know in the military, we don't even have to worry about, work, worry about uh, passports half the time. You know, there are some cases where we do, but, you know, we can deploy to another country on, on those orders and, and be fine. So I don't know a whole, whole lot about visas. I don't know how far in advance they have to be accomplished. And obviously there was a big issue with Rockstar Spud to the point that he, you know, asked to leave the company because Bob Ryder messed up the visa paperwork. I don't know if Bob Ryder is the problem here. We don't know. If somebody knows how visas work, if they've applied for one, you know, please say something in the comments. But I'm getting the impression that that's what the issue is. Now, there might be something more to it. So please don't quote me on this, and we're going to see what Ty Valkyrie has to say. But as I've said, this was one of the most um, looked forward to matches on the card, and I feel with the um, you know, with with taking that match away and taking Taryn Terrell out of the knockouts title match, that those two mat you know obviously the Rosemary match have lost a lot of steam. I don't know, you know, and let me know in the comments what you want. I don't know what they're going to do with Rosemary. I would assume. Because they're not going to leave her off the card. I would assume they're going to add her to the knockouts match. Which would make that match a lot better. And they did something like that at Slammiversary not too long ago. When Maria couldn't compete. I don't remember exactly what the original match was. I thought it was was uh, Jade. I know Jade was. Uh, oh you know what Jade was defending her title. Versus Sienna at Slammiversary. Maria could not compete against Gail Kim. They made it a triple threat, and then Sienna won the Knockouts Championship. Now it's all kind of coming back to me. So I could see them doing something like that. I would prefer them give Rosemary a surprise opponent. Now we know it's not going to be Tessa Blanchard because she's not going to be at this set of tapings. It was rumored she was, and now it's rumored she's not going to be. It doesn't mean she's not coming to the company. She's just not slated for this set of tapings, apparently. That could change, obviously. I don't think you could take one of the debuting knockouts like Hanaya, which she's amazing, but you know she doesn't have that name recognition like that to just debut her. So I would actually kind of like to see Laurel Van Ness against Rosemary. You know, maybe not as the bride, you know. I mean, Lord knows they've done some pretty illogical booking, so I'm sure if they had to take the um the gimmick offer, they could find <laughs> they could find a way to do it. But that's kind of what I would like to see. Now, Taya is not done with the company. We're expecting her and Rosemary, and she said this herself in the January tapings, to do this match, to have this match. Some people have tweeted at her that it should happen at lockdown. And she said she agrees. We don't know if lockdown is going to happen. We are assuming it's going to happen next year. 
as a um, as a third pay per view, just kind of based off some of the rumors. But you know, it does seem like this is a match we are going to get. We just have to wait for it, and um, I, I can't wait to hear what Taya has to say when she elaborates a little bit further on this. And I hope it was. I truly hope it was something that was out of everybody's hands. I, I do. I hope it wasn't you know something she dropped the ball on, something the company dropped the ball on. I hope it was just something out of her hands. I know she's wrestling at Rise in Illinois. Uh, she's replacing Rosemary on that card uh, the following Friday. I don't remember that day after Bound for Glory. They had to pull Rosemary and Laurel Van Ness off because uh, they'd be out of out of the country. And um, so Taya is wrestling, so she's not injured, and it's nothing like that. So you can leave any thoughts below in the comments. Please hit subscribe, as always. And in the uh, block below, if you need to order Bound for Glory in the description, please click the link. You'll get a $20 off coupon that you can use perhaps for one night only down the road. All right. Talk to you guys soon. Peace.